I joined Akash in ninth standard. Mm. So I joined early. I gave Anthony eighth standard. Pretty much a game changing moment for me. Now I'm competing all across India. Session two of coal and petroleum. Now coal, petroleum, natural gas. ये क्या है? ये three important fossil fuels हैं, right? And I hope you remember what are fossil fuels. So in the last class we discussed about fossil fuels. We discussed about coal. क्या story है coal की? How is it formed? क्या uses हैं? What are the products we get from coal? Now in today's class. We would be talking about petroleum and natural gas. So, फटाफट से hit the like button and subscribe to the channel अगर अभी तक नहीं करा है. And let's get started. But before we dive straight into it, I hope, I really hope all of you have registered for Anthe. यार अगर अभी तक नहीं किया register, then let me tell you the clock is ticking. बहुत कम time बचा है. The dates are very near. The exam date, the last day to register. As you can see, it's very very near now, yar. Fatafat se register for ante. Ab grade eight me ho. Definitely it's applicable, right? You are eligible to give the test. Exam do. Achhe se bade ke exam do. And yes, your knowledge is going to expand this way. So yar, kyu nahi karni knowledge expand? Ek free exam de kar. Agar knowledge expand hoti hai, I think that's a very cool thing to do. So go ahead, exam denge, achhe se denge, and. In the process, we can actually win cash rewards. We can actually win amazing scholarships, and NASA trip is definitely also there. So go ahead, work really hard for this, and all the best for the exam as well. All right, coming back to our session. आज क्या करने वाले हैं यार? Petroleum की बात करेंगे. Petroleum is also known as oil. So we will be talking about कि कैसे पेट्रोलियम को हम एक्सट्रैक्ट करते हैं कैसे नेचुरल गैस को हम एक्सट्रैक्ट करते हैं देन रिफाइनिंग ऑफ पेट्रोलियम दैट्स अ न्यू टर्म रिफाइनिंग वी वुड बी डिस्कसिंग दिस इन ग्रेट डिटेल वी वुड ऑल्सो बी टॉकिंग अबाउट नेचुरल गैस एंड ऑफ कोर्स यार ये सारे फॉसिल फ्यूल्स जो हैं ये लिमिटेड क्वान्टिटी में है तो इसके बारे में कुछ तो सोचना पड़ेगा क्योंकि इनकी क्वान्टिटी लिमिटेड है राइट right? So yes, we would also be talking about this as well. Now, as I told you in the last class, we have already covered coal. So I'll put a big smiley here, because coal के बारे में हमने सब कुछ बहुत डिटेल में डिस्कस करा है. Similarly, we would be covering petroleum and natural gas today. So without further ado, let's get started. Petroleum is a valuable natural resource. Now the word petroleum. It's derived from two words, petra and oleum, which means rock oil. Now have a look over here. You can clearly see that workers drill down to collect oil from reservoir rock traps. So yeah, कैसे petroleum exactly extract होता है? We would be talking about that as well. But hey, I have a question for you. Form कैसे होता है? Extraction तो बाद में होगा. The first important thing is कि how is petroleum formed? कोल की स्टोरी हमने देखी बट व्हाट्स द स्टोरी ऑफ पेट्रोलियम वेल लेट्स सी न पेट्रोलियम इज फॉर्म फ्रॉम ऑर्गेनिजम्स लिविंग इन द सी हाउ लेट्स सी ऑल राइट अगेन वील हैव टू गो 300 400 मिलियन इयर्स बैक न प्लांट्स एंड एनिमल्स दे लिव्ड इन शैलो सीज राइट नाउ व्हाट हैपन विद टाइम हैज दे डाइड देयर बॉडीज सेटल एट द बॉटम ऑफ द सी जैसे ही उनकी डेथ हुई द बॉडी स्टार्टेड सेटलिंग एट द बॉटम एंड इट गॉट कवर्ड विद लेयर्स ऑफ सैंड विद लेयर्स ऑफ क्ले सो क्या हो रहा है धीरे धीरे दे गॉट बेरीड अंडर मिलियंस ऑफ टन्स ऑफ सेडिमेंट नाउ जैसे जैसे वो और कंप्रेस होते जा रहे हैं द प्रेशर इज इंक्रीजिंग द टेम्परेचर इज इंक्रीजिंग एंड इन द एबसेंस ऑफ ऑक्सीजन दे गॉट कन्वर्टेड इन टू गैस एंड Oil. So this is how they are being formed. Now, if you look closely, you will notice something over here. 
the layer containing oil and gas is actually above that of water. But why is it so? Is it why the water ki layer is below the natural gas and oil ki layer? Upar hai? Now, natural gas and oil, they do not mix with water. Plus, they are lighter. And that's why the layer is above that of water. So, logically, you have to remember this. labeling, hai, we will remember this logic. Se. All right, let's move on. So, we see that deposits we get from sea. Under the land, we can get from the land. So, petroleum reservoirs can be found beneath land or the ocean floor. That's how you can actually reach petroleum. Moving on to a very important question now. Now we can talk about this. Now that we know how petroleum is formed, the next important thing to know is that it's formed, now how do you extract it? Because as we said, we are under the sea. So what do we do? We would definitely be requiring a drill and pipeline and we'll send it towards the seabed. Now what exactly is a seabed? Kuch bhi nahi yaar, seabed is like the floor of a sea. Okay, now this drilling pipe attaches to the seabed and it drills it further. Slowly, can you see it's drilling? Yes. Awesome. Now what happens after this? Now these pipelines can be hundreds of miles long because obviously they have to go deeper, right? Then the drilling pipe reaches the deposit and pumps out oil or gas. After that, you'll actually notice that oil, water and gas, they are actually collected separately. As you can see over here, separate chambers may collect hora, then definitely we can say ki oil bhi ek separate chamber may collect hora. Yes. So moving on to another very important question. Can we directly use petroleum after its extraction? Ab itni mehnat se pehle to form hua. Fit bohat time baad hamne isko jab extract kara, kya hum directly se use kar sakte hai? Or there are some processes that needs to be done. Well, directly to definitely hum use nahi kar sakte. Reason being, after workers pump the crude or raw petroleum from the ground or sea, then it goes to large factories called refineries. Hume unhe refineries mein bhejna hota hai. And refinery ki naam se hi samaj aara ki wahaan kya hoga? Wahaan petroleum kya hota hai? Refine hota hai, clean hota hai to make it ready to use. Now I used a new term. Refining. What exactly is refining? It's the process of separating various fractions of petroleum. Now petroleum se hume bohat saare different fractions milte hai. Unhe separate karne ko hum kya kehte hai? Refining. And where is it being done? You know, petroleum refinery. It's easy to remember, right? Kaha pe ho rahe refining? In petroleum refinery. Now what are these fractions that we are talking about? Well, let's see. Based on their boiling point, the important point over here is Kaise separate ho rahe wo different fractions mein? It's based on their boiling point. We get various fractions. LPG is used as a fuel. Now petrol is also used as a fuel plus it's used as a solvent also in tri cleaning. Kerosene also we all know it's used as a fuel for aircraft. Next diesel again fuel for vehicles and also electric generators. Next, what do we have? Fuel oil, yeah, it's used as a fuel for ships. Then lubricating oil for lubrication. We've got bitumen for road surfacing. And it's also used in paints. So these are the various fractions of petroleum along with their uses. And what's the basis of separation? It is the difference in their boiling points. All right. Another very important term that we need to know when we talk about petroleum and natural gas is petrochemicals. Now, what are these petrochemicals? Well, these are the useful substances that we get from petroleum and natural gas. And where use hote hai petrochemicals? Bohat sari cheeze manufacture karne mein. For example, detergent. Another example is fibers like nylon, polyester, acrylic. So fibers banane mein bhi kaam aate hain. Polythene, fertilizers. So ye sare important uses hain petrochemicals ke. Alright, now coal humne master kar liya, petroleum humne pura samaj liya. What's the next thing to do? Next thing is to know about natural gas. Now, 
इट इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉसिल फ्यूल क्यों बहुत ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट फ्यूल है ये द रीजन बींग इट्स अ क्लीन फ्यूल क्लीन है यार प्लस इट्स इजी टू ट्रांसपोर्ट थ्रू पाइप अगर इसको ट्रांसपोर्ट करना इजी है और ये क्लीन है डेफिनेटली इट इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉसिल फ्यूल नाउ आपने सुना है सी एन जी के बारे में आई एम वेरी वेरी श्योर कंप्रेस नेचुरल गैस तो कंप्रेस हो रहा है मतलब बहुत प्रेशर में है राइट अंडर हाई प्रेशर नेचुरल गैस इज बीइंग स्टोर एंड दैट्स व्हाई हम उसको क्या बोल रहे हैं सी एन जी कंप्रेस्ड नेचुरल गैस नाउ वेयर इज इट बीइंग यूज्ड हमने सुना है नेचुरल गैस के बारे में हमें डेफिनेटली पता है फ्यूल फॉर ट्रांसपोर्टिंग लाइक ट्रांसपोर्ट व्हीकल्स के लिए फ्यूल तो ये है ही है प्लस पावर जनरेशन में भी यूज होता है एंड रशिया बाय द वे Russia has the largest group of natural gas reservoirs in the whole world and in India in India Rajasthan and Maharashtra may be hame ye paya jata hai all right now the next important question are fossil fuels inexhaustible i think we've discussed this we know that fossil fuels they get exhausted right limited quantity mein hai Why? Why do we say that they are exhaustible? The reason is that they take so many years, millions of years. हम कहाँ गए? Three hundred million years पीछे चले गए थे to understand the story, right? They take actually millions of years to, you know, the dead organisms. They take millions of years to convert into fossil fuel. मतलब कितने सारे years लग जाएंगे यार उन dead organisms से हमें fossil fuel मिलने में. That is why we are saying कि exhaustible है. That is why we are seeing limited quantity में present है. Plus, look at our consumption rate. हम कितनी जल्दी जल्दी consume कर रहे हैं because of course population भी increase हो रही है, needs भी increase हो रहे हैं. तो क्या हो रहा है? The rate at which we are using is it's increasing with time, right? And that's why we need some alternative because almost ninety percent of our energy comes from fossil fuels. तो यार ninety percent अभी अगर हमें fossil fuels energy मिल रही है. We need to think about other alternatives क्योंकि ये limited quantity में ही present है Plus कुछ environmental impacts हैं इसके it causes pollution and we need to you know take that thing into regard as well So is the extensive use of these fossil fuels safe for our environment I think the answer is going to be a big no नहीं है safe क्योंकि क्या है they cause pollution right and that's why we are again You know, re-stating the same thing कि हमें alternatives चाहिए, because fossil fuels, when we burn them, तो यार air pollution होता है, global warming तक cause होता है, and slowly it's going to harm our planet. So yes, we need to switch to better, safer alternatives for a healthy environment. Now in India. There is an initiative. So, Petroleum Conservation Research Association they have certain advices, and we can definitely follow that. कुछ points उन्होंने share करे हैं जो हम सबको follow करने चाहिए. For example, drive at a constant speed. We we should be maintaining a moderate speed as well. Switch off engine at traffic lights. यार ये तो बिल्कुल कर सकते हैं. Or whenever you have to wait, we can definitely do this. I think all these points are very much doable, right? Next important thing is ensure correct tire pressure and regular maintenance of the vehicle. So you need to be a very informed citizen. You need to take charge of it. कहीं पे भी आप travel करते हो, be very sure that these points are being followed. क्योंकि बहुत simple points हैं. As I said, completely doable. So let's do this together, right? And with this, we've come to the end of this session. But hey. Chapter learning is incomplete without discussing the questions. तो questions भी हम discuss करेंगे कब करेंगे यार? Next class में we will be discussing all the questions with you. And yes, it goes without saying that we've got you covered. मगर आपको क्या करना है यार? You have to regularly attend all the classes. तभी मजा आएगा, तभी वो continuity बनी रहेगी. So yes, I hope कि आपने सब्सक्राइब कर लिया है आपने बेल आइकन हिट कर लिया है क्योंकि अगर बेल आइकन हिट किया होगा तभी यू विल बी एक्चुअली इन्फॉर्म अबाउट ऑल द क्लासेस यू विल गेट ऑल द अपडेट्स एंड आई होप लाइक तो पक्का ही कर लिया होगा वीडियो को अगर नहीं किया क्विकली हिट द लाइक सब्सक्राइब बटन एंड ऑफकोर्स डोंट फो गेट टू हिट द बेल आइकन इज वेल एंड बिफोर आई क्लोज आई हैव अ क्वेश्चन फॉर यू सो राइट आफ्टर दिस सेशन इन द कॉमेंट सेक्शन लेट मी नो वॉट इज ब्लैक गोल्ड 
ब्लैक गोल क्या होता है लेट मी नो इन द कॉमेंट सेक्शन एंड आई विल सी यू इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास टेक केयर बाय